What is up and what is going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, once again, I want to thank all my new subscribers and all my past subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Um, you know, my channel is continuing to grow and grow and grow and get bigger. I know once I get some performance mods slapped on my car, the channel is going to get even bigger and bigger. But I just want to start the video out with just thanking all my subscribers. We're almost to that 2,000 uh, subscriber mark. So once we get 2,000 subscribers, stay tuned because we will be doing a giveaway. All right, so the topic for today's video is I just got a um, part in the mail, so let's get to the unboxing. So here's what we got. Any guesses, or can anybody guess uh, what this part is? Comment down below before I do the unboxing if you think you know what I got uh, in the mail today. So I'm gonna lay it out right here. And we'll do today's unboxing. Anybody have any idea? Uh, what this mod could be comment down below and let me know what you think all right so let's get started with today's unboxing uh i ordered this about a week ago so i'm excited that it got here pretty quick i'm sure some of you by now already know what it is <clears throat> at least got plenty of tape on this bad boy Okay, there's the first piece, and then we got some more pieces down below. Guessing it's just the hardware. Let's see what else. And we got some bolts. So, yep, yeah, that's that. That is what I got in the mail. So, surely by now, you guys can tell uh, exactly what this is. So, wait. Look at that. Man, that looks good. Here she is. Hopefully the camera, I'll see if I can get the camera to focus. Boom, there we go. It's the Tambi Upper Tower Strut Bar and it's beautiful, nice uh, red color. I specifically wanted to get this one and not the Surimoto one just because of how nice the color is. So with that being said, um, of course you get your bolts and stuff for your strut. It should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, should be three for each side for the left and then for the rear side. And then let's go ahead and open up this package right here. I'm gonna set this on top of the box just so we don't drop it. Maybe my knife again. So yeah, I got this from, where did I get this from? I think I got this from showstoppers.com. Um, I think it was uh, last Thursday, I had called, I had called the manufacturer, uh, Tambe, Tambe um, themselves, and I was like, hey man, um, do you guys have any of your strut tower bars in stock for your um, Tension Civics? And, and he said, no, we don't, but I know that this, this company in particular does showstoppers.com or showstoppers usa something like that i'll put the link down uh, in the description to where i got it store um i believe i believe this was like 138 or 140 dollars uh shipped to my door so with that you know this is where you get the uh the bar is going to connect for so this is very nice high quality um metal steel Definitely not aluminum. So yeah, that's really nice. And then of course, you know, you get two of those and then they're gonna go onto the, onto the strut bar like so. So yeah, um, here in just a little bit, we are going to be doing the um, actual install. Get this camera back on me. So yeah, here in just a little bit, um, I'm gonna get to the install video. Uh, it's currently way too dark out and I just wanted to get the unboxing portion of this video out of the way. But yes, I did get the Tambay um, upper tower strut bar 
in this beautiful nice red color I didn't want to go with the Siri Moto one I think it looks like a it's like a brushed aluminum one so this red one is definitely gonna look good under the hood let's take one more look at it get out of the shadow of it definitely super nice not too heavy either man this thing looks good so yeah uh, in the next video we will be uh, doing a tutorial on uh, how to uh, install the upper tower strut bar so stay tuned so here's what the tambe um, bar looks like now that it's all put together only thing you got to do is you may have to adjust it so these um, these ends right here let's see if I can get the camera to focus no you don't want to focus so these ends right here this screws out and it can make this longer you just have to adjust it you know for the for the width of your car so yeah that's what it looks like all put together and then the only thing left you got to do make sure that these get adjusted right and then i need to tighten this with the allen key and then a, and then a wrench on this side so yep yeah, let's get to the install come on focus fool yeah all right, so now that it's time to install the bar, I went ahead and pre, uh, preset these uh, screws right here. Let me see if this daggum camera will focus. This right here, you have to make uh, the passenger side longer and along with uh, the driver side, you also need to make uh, that side longer also. <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is, I have a 916 wrench you're going to take this bolt off this bolt and this bolt off and then also same thing on the other side this bolt this bolt and this bolt off so let's get to taking those bolts off and the the wrench that i'm using is a uh it's just a 916 socket deep oil already started on this one so this one's already loose um, you don't need these bolts anymore uh, tan Bay supplied you with your own so you can just save those if you plan to ever take the the bar off and sell the car. <clears throat> that go. <clears throat> that joker was on there. All right, so there's number two. And you got one more. It's kind of uh, at the very top of the the strut tower. <clears throat> All right, so now that that one's off, I'm gonna go grab the driver's side bracket. This one, make sure whenever you're doing this, this notch side goes to the one bolt, uh, or the one, yeah, the one bolt that you didn't take off, or the one that doesn't have a bolt. You'll see what I'm talking about. It'll be, come on, this guy right here. Make sure that this, notch goes into this hole right here and then you'll know you have it set in the right spot and then you're going to take the three bolts that they supplied you and just kind of hand tighten them back on that's really close okay and once you have that on there and then you're just gonna go back in and tighten them. I would go a little bit past hand tight. That one's good. Of course, there's not enough room on that one, so you're gonna have to get a 916 open end wrench for that one. Okay, that one's good. So now, this last one that goes right here in front of this bracket, you need a 916 wrench for that. All right, so once you got your 916 wrench, just go ahead and and getting this puppy all the way tight. Now you're gonna have to do it with the opening because there's just not enough room between the bracket and the bolt itself to actually fit a socket. So you're gonna have to use the open end of the wrench. Get it good and snug. Okay. One more good. One more good. Okay. All right, she's good to go. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. Same thing, remove all three.
Okay, there's one removed. Oh, they got these jokers on here tight. Got that one. You got one left back here in this far corner. Okay. And then once you get that one off, go and get your passenger side bracket. And then with the supplied, uh, supplied bolts, tighten her down. All right, once again, make sure the notch side, uh, you see the notch side goes to the one that did not have a bolt on it. These are, I got the wrong, got the wrong bolts. All right, now that I got the right bolts, go ahead once again and tighten these guys. Make sure you have your box in wrench, or I mean your, your, yeah, your box in wrench, and you're gonna use the open side of it. that one and go ahead and tighten okay just a little past hand tighten should be good okay and then once that one's tightened takes your take your open end wrench and go ahead and tighten this one down got a little bit more room over here than you do on the driver's side just slow go on this side. Okay, and one more good turn. All right, now you're gonna grab the actual uh, strut bar and then we're gonna place it on top and then mount it and bolt it, and bolt it up. <clears throat> All right, so once you have uh, the supplied hardware that they have, make sure you put the bolt going in towards the cab. Okay. Then you're gonna put your washer on, and then you're gonna put your bolt on, or your nut. I don't know why I keep saying bolt. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that like it is, and then we're gonna go do the, we're gonna go do the passenger side. All right, once again, remember, you're gonna take the bolt, and the bolt is gonna go in towards the, uh, toward, towards the cab. So bolt, towards the cab. I had to go back in. Uh, I had to take some length out of it because the bolt wasn't going in straight. So now that we have that adjusted, everything should go just just smooth. All right, so once you have the bar all in place, you're gonna take your 9 16 and a big Allen key, and you're gonna tighten this bad boy up. Doesn't have to be super tight, just a little bit overhand tight. Okay, let's move over to the driver's side. All right, so the same thing you did on the passenger side, you're gonna do on the driver's side. Get your Allen key, and your 9 16 and then tighten her up. Okay, just remember you don't have to go too tight. A little overhand tighten, a little overhand tight is perfectly fine. Okay, one more good snug. Okay, and that's it. She's on there. All right, so I realized that that was a little, a little blurry. But here's what the bar looks like. It looks super good. Take a step back from the engine bay. It looks super good. Like I said, super easy process. You know, you got all the right tools and everything, maybe 20 minutes at, at, at best or at most. And once again, that is your tan bay. Come on, focus. That is your tan bay uh, upper tower strut bar. And I wanted the red for a reason. I'm pretty sure the Surrey Moto one is silver. And I really wanted the red to, uh, 
I don't know, I'm gonna go with a red accent under the car. So, yep, that's that. All right, guys, so as you as you just saw, we had just installed the, the Tambe upper tower strut bar, and I realized we were running, we were, I was trying to beat the daylight, and the, the sun went down before I get in the garage and get everything set up. So, once again, <clears throat> um, the first thing that I did was I took the, the two brackets, the two supplied brackets that it came with, uh, uh, unloosened all six bolts, three on the driver's side, three on the passenger side, I tightened the driver's side down with the supplied hardware that it came with, and then I did the passenger side. And then once I did that, I, I, put, the, I put the actual bar up there, and you have to make the, the driver's side and the passenger side a little bit longer so the holes will line up perfect. And then after that, you just you throw your bolt in, and you're washing your nut, and then, then you go from there. And it's super simple. So I'm gonna show you uh, one more time what the bar looks like. Once again, I know the lighting isn't the best, but here's, here's what the finished product looks like. Super simple, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, not, not that bad at all. That's it, just those three bolts. Oh, one of the things that, that I was mentioning, make sure, you know you have it on right, the, you know, the right bracket on the right side, this notch will always be right here, and there will not be a nut to take off here. You have three nuts, one here, one here, one here, not one here. Same thing over here. This guy right here will not have a uh, nut on it. Just three nuts, one, two, three. Slap it on there, super simple. Oh, uh, one other thing is make sure you use the, the supplied uh, nuts that it come with. These are the ones that came off the factory, uh, the factory tower. So I'm just gonna keep those just in case I ever take the uh, car back to stock and I wanna put, the, put the, the factory hardware back on. All right, so I'm going to end today's video with thanking all my subscribers for, um, you know, my channel is steadily growing and growing and growing. So I do appreciate all my, my new subscribers and, and all my subscribers that were back when I had, you know, the 9 Gen. That's what I originally made this channel on was when I had the 9 Gen uh, SI. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you turn your uh, notifications on so you get a... You get, you get a notification every time I post any content on YouTube. I notice some people sometimes they, they'll comment and say, I didn't even know you had a video come out. Well, you gotta turn on those post notifications. Also, make sure you leave this video a like. Um, it helps my videos get uh, in the suggestion box so other viewers can view my, my content. Also, com comment down below if you like this upper, to upper, to upper tower strut bar. Damn, that was hard. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my car.